All right, hey prehistoric crew, what's going on? Sorry this video took so long to come out. It's a long time in the making. I've been talking about this for about a month and a half. So yeah, apologies there, but finally got this together. I had 19 names in total, but Chuck learns lithics. He actually said I could keep his name out of the draw, give someone else a chance to win the prize, so that was very nice of him. But I made him a flake anyways. So you're number 12, Chuck. I'll just put that off to the side. Um, I believe everybody else. Arabella Burnbaum, I'm pretty sure it was you who also offered to not be in the prize because, or in the draw, because you live so far away. But I'm going to pay shipping cost anywhere in the world, so you don't need to worry about that. If you end up winning and you still don't want it, we can give it to someone else, but I figured I'd keep you in the, keep you in the draw anyways. Okay, so there's 18 names to win this point. The giveaway prize for my 500 subscriber giveaway contest. The first time I'm doing anything like this. It was a pretty fun, ex fun experience. I almost broke this thing a few times, but I think it turned out pretty well in the end. Here's a little ceramic pot that I made myself and fired in a little mud oven that I made myself. It's got a few cracks in it, but it's nice and hard. You know, it fired very well anyways. It was probably just a little bit too wet on the bottom. And, you know, I was pretty sure it was going to be. Got a few of my fingerprints in there. I don't want to have this light very high up. Alright. Yeah, well, it turns out I didn't prepare for this very well. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to use the ceramic pot that I made. Uh, I'll put the flakes in there, and then I'll shake it around, get everything all mixed up, and I'm going to have it covered with my hand like this, and then I'll just kind of, you know, maybe, probably through the side, I guess. I'll just put my finger in there, and then the fir first flake I touch, I'll show it like that, so, you know, even though you don't see my face, you know, you'll know you know that I can't see which flake I'm picking out, so there's no, no choosing favorites or anything. So, in order, f in order of appearance, as you guys left comments on the videos in this giveaway series, there's Frodo Joe, I'm just going to say all the names how I want to say them, Yeet Man, we got Jidosh, Versingeterix 3.0. I like that name. I think Versingeterix was a like a Gaul, Gallic, or barbarian chieftain or something who fought against the the Romans. I don't know. Anyways, Joshua Weber, Wonder Bubbles. You have a great name. I like the story behind it too. Matteo M. Vernon Hess, Paul Hayes, Coyote Arrowhead Hunting, thanks for leaving all your messages, you've been a subscriber for a while, a lot of you guys have actually, Rodrigo Boixo, Jim Vaughn, J Cool 2220, Stephanie Teets, John Martin, Arabella Birnbaum, Chicken Flakes, you have a hilarious name, I've gotten some good chuckles from you over the years, and Daryl Johnson, okay, so there's everybody's flakes, with your names on there. We'll just give this a test run and see how it works. Yeah, 
not bad, I'd say. Anyways, we'll see what happens. Hopefully no one's disappointed with the results or the process. I'm doing this, you know, the best I can, given the fact that I'm, I've written all your names on flakes of chert. Anyways, I tried to make all the flakes, you know, roughly the same size and weight and shape and whatnot, but obviously they're not perfect. Um, and, you know, they're not all from this stone. They're just kind of an assortment of flakes from my napping floor. Most of them are Georgetown, but some of them are some other material. Anyways, without further ado, maybe a drum roll. Okay, that was a bit much. I'll just go ahead and do this then. Okay, so that's covered. I haven't been able to see anything. I'll just put my finger in there. And then the first one it lands on, right there. That's the winner. John Martin, congratulations. Number 16. Yeah, you win the prize. This replica of a Dalton point. Pretty sharp. Here's one last look at it before I send it off to you. Anyways, if you don't see the video, I'm gonna leave a, a community post. I unlocked those uh, not too long ago, so I'll make my first community post announcing the giveaway winner. And I'll also announce it, you know, in this video, obviously. But yeah, John Martin, you have one week from the time I published this video, which should be tomorrow, so that'll be April 18th. So let's say you have until April 25th to contact me. Um, email is prehistoricliving at gmail.com. Contact me through there. And I'll get this sent out to you, no matter where you live. Alright, to everybody else, thank you so much for all your likes and comments and being subscribers over the years. You know, I really appreciate it. This has been a, a very interesting experience for me. Uh, it's been over five years that I've been doing this channel, and I think it's just starting to get really cool now. I've been really enjoying it. And I hope to do some more interesting things in the future. I'm definitely going to do another another giveaway. So I'm going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And at the rate we're going, that should be in under a year. Um, I've had 50 more subscribers since I announced this giveaway, which was just, you know, about a month and a half ago, so if we can keep going like that, maybe a tiny bit faster, we'll get to a thousand before the year is out, or before a full year anyways. If we can do it before the end of 2022, that'd be really awesome. Let's make that the goal. A thousand subscribers before the end of this year. And then for the start of 2023, I'll make something hopefully cooler than this and give that away. All right, well, that's enough rambling for now. Congratulations again to John Martin. And sorry to everybody else who didn't win, but thank you so much for participating in this event. And thanks to Chuck Learns Lithics, who opted out. And that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.